Hi, if you don't know us already, we're Helen, Andy and our self-built glamper van Giovanna. Inspired by our love of travel, we make videos as we travel the world, experiencing new countries and cultures. So why not join us on our van life adventures? Morning everyone. Morning. So it's about half eight in the morning. We've sneaked off our campsite, locked the van up and we're all loaded up with all our luggage and we're off to Morocco. 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 Yeah. Exciting. Yeah, and we might even go to the Sahara Desert to find some more sun. <laughs> to cool down. Yeah, cool down. In fact, we left our campsite so secretly, we walked 10 minutes down the road to this nondescript campsite to pretend we're staying here. So the owner of the place we're staying on doesn't know we're sneaking out and leaving our van there for two weeks. How's that paperwork coming along? It's not. It's more than my work. <laughs> All this bureaucracy just to get into Morocco. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ticket number now. And they're already starting to board. And we're still sitting here putting paperwork in. Are you ready for this? Exciting! So Andy, how do you rate the ferry crossing so far? It's like a cat truck. Let's see. Absolutely. Well, I can say, without a shadow of a doubt, that's the most interesting ferry journey. So you're looking at two very happy travellers. Shell shock travellers. Shell shock travellers. Shell, I can't even talk probably. Shell shock travellers. We spent the last two hours walking along the seafront trying to find a solid phone shop to get SIM cards for our phone, which we can only get in Arabic or French. <laughs> Albeit they speak English very well in all the shops. That said, we've got our SIM cards now. Yeah. We've got a sim class now. So we're sitting down in a traditional Starbucks in the railway station. A little bit of normality. A little bit of normality before we head out into the chaos of the Medina and the Caspar in Tangier. That's also, we took some money out of the ATM. Out yeah, of the we took, we took five, 500 dirham out. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> we panicked. We thought we spent loads, didn't we? How much did we spend? 43 pounds. Most of that was on so, Starbucks. <laughs> and Starbucks.
that's uh, the end of our first day in Tangier. We found ourselves a nice little bar right down by the uh, port. Yeah, port. On the promenade, just, uh, we're sitting down here drinking a few berries and just watching people. once day two and we're still in Tangier and now we're climbing up and exploring the Casbah and the old city walls. Yep. It's a pretty warm today, 35 degrees, so lots of drinks needed and we're about to get run over by a car that's coming backwards up the hill. But <laughs> we have acclimatised to the chaos. Yeah. So we have, yeah, it's yep. a little bit better today, isn't Much it? better stuff. So our last day in Tangier today, we spent the past two days getting lost in the Medina, the Casbah, being asked to buy absolutely everything from everybody, everywhere. And today we're going to go exploring the new town, along the beach, and try and buy some train tickets for the new bullet train. And go to a couple of museums. Oh yeah, we've got to go to some museums. We've got to go to the Casbah Museum. Yesterday we went out for a walk and we found ourselves 
One thing our video can't convey to you is you definitely need smelly vision. It's a combination of what? I'd say... Binges? Binges. Binges. Toilets. Tap water. Yeah. Food. Yeah. It's, um, it's a chewy smell. <laughs> very, very chewy smell. You'll get used to it after a couple of days. Even thought about putting our face mask back on a bit, don't you? Yeah, it is uh, quite strong. So, this is how you have to cross the roads in Tangier. You just walk out and you hope that someone is going to stop. <laughs>
thanks for watching hope you liked the video if you did please like and subscribe see you all again soon